Hold the crane. On our way. A satisfying conclusion, I trust? How thoughtful. Oh, dearly me, spices. No, no, that won't do. I'd be burning up inside like the sixth circle. I hear Sir Blake is too poorly to explore the lands he lays claim to. It is the... The learned men are wise but wary of novelty. Take care not to startle them with your camera. Angareb. There is beauty and even some wisdom hidden here, behind those high and headstrong walls. I was born here, in less happy times. It was rough sailing, but my mother and I took care of each other. Such different lands, united under one wise rule. How could anyone doubt the splendor of Mbesa now? Natural beauty, certainly. But Her Majesty did not send me here to sightsee. She has great hopes that Embeza might fall in and become a powerful industrial cog. this progress as though it were one of only two paths to be chosen. The elders are the bones of Inbeza, sturdy in the face of hardship. Theirs is the burden of duty and of preservation. You reached a new milestone. To attract such approval from the Arania is no small feat. On such pillars will you build my capital. I meant approval for Her Majesty's empire, not Katima's. <laughs> Confound it! Why was I not informed of this? Sir Blake is but one man, without allies and support here. He needs to see this for negotiations to resume peacefully and in good intent.
further expansion? This will not do at all. Stem the tide. Her Majesty greatly appreciates and rewards loyalty. Our allotted part, so be it. understood my people better. Clearly I was sorely mistaken. It gives me no pleasure to make these people miserable, but it is temporary. They will be better under Her Majesty's stewardship in the end. Dark clouds gather near our borders. I weary of warfare. The safety of my people comes foremost. See how he gathers for war. Hospitality of amazing lives. Bring me the cannons, and I'll reward you handsomely. Wonderful! I knew you were a stout and reliable sort. I knew you'd come through. Is this all Enbesa is worth to you? That you would abandon its people for the promise of trinkets? So it is true then. There is no hope for peace. None for friendship. I suppose you have tried your best. I will give Sir Blake one last chance to repent. Bring him this gift. I am sure he will understand the message.
On our way. The mighty Katima extends a sign of goodwill. My memory of him is not of someone so reasonable. I see. How kind. Please take these away. Somewhere distant, preferably. There is fruit enough here for all Katima's people. Sent in from the old world. <laughs> the long way. If this king is going to behave like a spoiled child, then I'll give him a piece of my own mind. families. I dare not leave home while pestilence roams the streets unchecked. I had no knowledge of this. It was an accident. I would never stoop to such underhanded ways. Deliberate. I will not believe it. It is not the first time men of the old world inflict their sickness upon new lands. There have been precedents. How could they not know if there is a precedent? How could this not be deliberate? Be murder! Something must be done to drive that parasite out of Mbesa, out of our lives, for good. The water, of course. That's it. Hurry then. I must get to the canals before first light. Without them, the land will dry up, and Archibald will have no choice but to leave. I wish harm on no one, but we need time to prepare. I... shall we, friend? Now to find those pumps. Simple, harmless. None need be hurt. Will not have families torn asunder by one man's blind greed. Asking his son for us, then we got him. He can't manage on this land without our help. Yet he says we need him. We never needed him. Never. Let 
the Lycaon like see how well he fares without water. We have no need of his arrogance and pride. Is this the hospitality of Mbeza? Flames and steel in the night. Seize him and see to his extradition. There will be no transportation. Binyam is a subject of Mbeza and will be returned to us for trial. And who are you, O oh King, to countermand the will of Empire? I fear our talk must now be of fleets and steel. In troubled times, the people look to their lords and to the Lord above to provide solace. Scholar Mihorani not appreciate this life. 